Has this ever happened to you? All the doors in your house are securely locked and you lost a damn spare key, leaving you to crawl through a window like some sort of sneak thief in the night. Well, you're in luck, because that deadbolt on your door isn't as secure as it looks, and with the right tools and a bit of practice, even you could learn how to pick locks and gain entrance into anyone's house. Hi, I'm Rusty Cage, and today I'm going to show you just how easy it is to pick a lock. Inside a standard lock such as this one that you might find on your front door, there are six spring-loaded pins being pushed down onto six more pins that holds the key slot or plug in place and keeps it from turning. Each of the bottom pins are of a different length that coincide with the ridges on a key, so whenever you put in the right key, the pins are raised up or lowered to become flush. This frees the lock and allows the plug to be turned, but if the wrong key is inserted, the pins push up too far or not enough, and this secures the plug and keeps it from turning. Well, this is where your lock picking set comes in handy. Now before we continue, I think I'm legally required to say something about how carrying a lock pick set in some states without a permit might be illegal. I don't know. I didn't check the laws, so you definitely should. So don't come running to me if you Blah, got... blah, blah. Anyways, back to the lock. So a basic lock pick set comes with several picks of various shapes and a tension rod. The picks are used to push up on the pins until they are all flush. Some of the picks will push up multiple pins at once, while others are used for finessing single pins at a time. Which tool you use all depends on the lock that you're trying to pick and how comfortable you are using the picks. So as you see here, when I push up on one of the pins, what the hell, they just fall back down. Yeah, well, that's where you use the tension rod. With one hand, put the short end of the tension rod into the bottom of the key slot, then apply slight turning pressure. The idea is to apply just enough pressure so that whenever you push up on the pins, it will get caught in the flush position. This takes a lot of practice to get right because too much pressure and the pins will get stuck too far, but too little pressure and they won't catch in a position at all. So for all of you who forgot your ADHD medication and couldn't pay attention, let's review. 1. Two sets of pins of all different lengths get pushed down into the plug. 2. When the sets of the pins are all flush, the plug will turn. Three. Use a tension rod and apply slight turning pressure to the lock. 4. Use the picks to push up on the pins until they all catch in the flush position. And voila, the lock opens and the treasure is yours. Now in my experience, picking a lock can take anywhere between 20 seconds and a few hours. Listen, I'm no locksmith, so there's been times where I've been locked out of my house for several hours before I was able to pick the lock and get inside. But also, listen again, I am no locksmith, and on one of my first attempts, I picked my front door lock in like 20 seconds. Seriously, watch how easy it is to open this deadbolt. You think your house is nice and secure, all locked up and tight, but then some asshole like me comes along with a pick set and almost zero experience and unlocks your door like it's nothing. I mean, look at this. It took me 16 seconds to do it. That's why they call them deadbolts, because anyone can break into your house and kill you. Shame on you, quick set, you false security giving liars. Shame. So there you have it, friends, the official Rusty Cage guide to picking a lock. If you followed these simple steps, even a chump like you can become a master thief. I mean, a master locksmith. Stealing is bad. If you enjoyed this video, make it a point to hit like and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more way cool videos. And if you'd like to support me making future videos like this, consider contributing to my Patreon, where even a donation as small as a dollar will help keep this channel alive so I don't have to resort to becoming a burglar. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for a future video where I'll show you how to use another lock picking tool, the magical bump key.